So suppose we want to prove that this quintic polynomial written here, let's call it f of x, is uh, not solvable. Well, the equation I should have written the equation of f of x equal to 0 is not solvable by radicals and uh, well we this is a polynomial in q of x we only need to show that um, that this polynomial is irreducible and that it contains it it admits exactly two uh, roots which are non-real This is because then in this situation uh, the theory the theory shows that then mm, the Galois group of f over q then would be isomorphic to the symmetric group of the degree of f which is 5 and this is a non-solvable group as we know and therefore the equation f uh, equal to zero is not solvable as the, the theory uh, shows. So this is in the end our only simple task and it is quite elementary so you can prove irreducibility by applying um, Einstein criterion and well to show that we have exactly non, two non-real non -real roots we can uh, just do an analysis similar to what we do in calculus. So for example, um, we pick some some values. I did this with minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. And we study the sign of uh, the function given by the polynomial. And so you observe that if you evaluate, so if you evaluate f here at minus two, you have a negative number so the sign is here is minus is negative and then if you evaluate the, these two numbers you get a positive uh, positive number so the sign here is uh, positive and then it is again negative and positive and therefore by the usual continuity argument of calculus we see that we have a zero here a root and then when change the sign here we have another zero and then another zero here so we have these three roots and so in particular so these are three roots uh, we also have say here somewhere in between these first two roots some uh, well, here is positive, so we will have some local maximum, and in between, where the, the function is negative, we will have some. So this is local maximum. Here we have a local minimum, and in particular, if you um, so we can sh we can we can assert that there 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 are no other real roots uh, for example because if you take a look at the derivative you see that it has only two roots and therefore two two real roots so these are the only two mm, local optima So we conclude that being a polynomial of order of degree 5 and we have exactly three real roots, we have two non-real roots. And 
our argument, our theory, the general machinery of this theory applies when we are done with this exercise.